Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm getting ready to go to a St. Patrick's Day celebration with my mother-in-law and it's actually not on St. Patrick's Day, it's the day before. And because of my bad planning, I'm not gonna have a video on St. Patrick's Day. You guys are gonna be watching this way after St. Patrick's Day, but it's fine, it's, it's fine. So I'm going for a green look obviously, but I'm gonna be trying out some new glitters. I got a bunch of glitters from Lit at iMats and I still haven't used even like a tenth of them, so I wanted to use those. And they also sent me a new product of theirs, so I'm gonna be testing that out. So today's look is going to be very sparkly, very glittery, very glam. And I'm loosely inspiring myself off of one of Heather's looks. You might know her as Makeup Mouse. I really, really like the eye shape that she's got going on in this look. So I think I might do something similar to that, but with glitter and it's gonna be green and there won't be the little stars, but I really like the eye shape that she's got going on. So let's get this party started, but before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. So I've already gone and done my skin. I will do cheeks and highlighter and all that stuff after, but I always like to have my base ready before I begin my eyes. And I think for today, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette and the J Kissa Palette. I think I'm gonna use the J Kissa Palette for the transition shades. I still don't know where I'm going with this, but I kinda, I think these shades complement each other really well, the greens in here and the yellows and green in here too. So let's just, let's just start. So I'm kind of thinking for my transition, I'm going to go in with BFF from the J Kissa palette. This eyeshadow goes like past the eyebrows. It covers up the eyebrows. It's very much a no brow look. And I'm basically going to do a kind of curved teardrop shape, which is pretty similar to a lot of other eye looks I've done, but this one I feel goes way further out from the eye, and that's what I really, really like about it. It goes way further down under the eye. The thing I'm going to tonight I think is pretty fancy, but I don't know. I felt like being a little bold with my makeup, because why not? This brush is a little dense, so I'm just switching over to a fluffier, looser brush to really blend that color out. I did prep my eyes by applying concealer and powder. That's how I always prep them. So I look pretty sickly right now, but that's okay. It's just the first step. Now I'm going to go in with the Subculture palette, and I'm going to use the color Destiny. And I'm going to be very careful because these shadows are very pigmented. And I'm going to apply this a bit closer to my eye so that I still get that transition shade around the edge. This might be a little too olive for what I want. I'm going to go in as well with a little bit of Untamed and see how that looks. I think I like Untamed better, but it is a bit darker. I'm just going to... Work that into my brow. Then I'm also applying it under my bottom lash line, making sure to blend it very gently towards the edge to get that shape. I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to blend very smoothly as it tapers out. And in her eye look, she brings the dark color into the inner corner. I'm gonna do that for now, but I am going to apply glitter to my inner corner because y'all know me, I just can't live without a highlighted inner corner. I think I might take a little bit of Alien from the J Kissa palette, it's the bright green. Let me see, apply that right around the edges, kind of over where I applied BFF. Because I want there to be a little hint of green there and under as well, just all around the eye. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. And this will help to blend out your edges as well. Applying it kind of over the dark color right along the edge. This helps to get a more even and smooth fade. That's really nice. And now I've got this rounded shape at the front and it just, it's kind of like a teardrop. I'm going to grab Alien on a little smaller brush just so I can really concentrate it here and be more precise about the application. And over my eyebrow as well. So nice. Now I'm just going to apply Untamed to my lid. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I think it's just habit of applying like a different color to the lid. So I always leave it blank. I love this palette so much. The colors are so pigmented and like 
remember all the drama when it came out? Like, that was insane. This is honestly one of my favorite palettes, and I will defend it if I have to. Now that's it for eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glitter, and I'm going in with my favorite glitter base. It is the NYX Glitter Primer. If you've been around this channel for a little while, you know how much I love this. I think it's NYX's best product. So I just grab some on the back of my hand and apply it with a flat brush wherever I want some glitter. It doesn't lift what's underneath and I'm just being careful to only apply this where I want glitter. Once that's done, I'm going in with the Lit Glitter Siberian in size number two. It looks a little something like this and then I'm going to grab it on that same brush and then just pat it on. Oh, this glitter is so pretty. Oh, man. It's got a bunch of different colors in it. It's like a green base, but with copper and gold sparkles, I think. That is really pretty, but that's a different tone of green. Should I have gone with the other one? I might layer Soul Sister on top. This is more of like a deep bronze with green. Maybe should have done that one. But I'll do Soul Sister around the sides, kind of doing like a halo. So I'm just applying a little bit more glitter primer and then going in with Soul Sister on top. Ooh. I'm actually going to layer Soul Sister over everything. So I just applied some more glitter base. And there we go. Okay, that's much better. And I'm kind of extending the glitter a little bit just so it follows the shape of the eye. Okay, so I actually really, really like that. Mixing the two colors works really well. But I think for my bottom lash line, I'm going to apply just Soul Sister. I don't want it on my lashes. And then just pressing that in. Yeah, Soul Sister reads much more bronze than it does green. So I think it was a good idea to mix it with Siberian. I don't want it on my lashes. Thank you very much. And I might add a little bit of Siberian just to the center to give it a little pop of green as well. Yeah. So one of the cool things I find about lit glitters is that they have the same glitter in different sizes. So my all-time favorite glitter for inner corners in the world, I keep it in my kit at all times, is the Champagne Wishes size 2. It's really, really fine, and it just looks so beautiful in the inner corner. But recently I got Champagne Wishes in size number 3 and number 4, and they are chunkier versions of this one. So I think today I'm going to go with one of the chunky versions to see how that works out. I think I'm going to go with the chunkiest of them all, number four, and I'm going to apply it in the same way, taking a little bit of that NYX glitter primer and applying it right where I want that glitter, and then grabbing some of this. This one is gold with... So I didn't know exactly the mixture in the fine one because it's so, so fine, but you can really see the mixture in the chunky one. So it's gold with clear, kind of purplish and green sparkles throughout it and it's just whoa that is really chunky and really shiny i think that gives a cool texture like this just adds a different texture to the look and i think that really complements it really well so when coming up with a look, thinking about textures is just as important as thinking about colors because it really makes a look a lot more dynamic and i don't know it's just more interesting to look at pretty much. I think this looks pretty kind of like editorial. I don't know. I'm really digging it. So I still have to do lashes and all that, but I'm going to move on to my face. I've already done some contouring as you can tell. Now I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to use the Ritual Defee Inner Glow Cream Pigment in the color Lust. And it's just this, I don't even know how to explain this color, but it's really pretty. I don't I don't even know how to explain it, but I've been really loving it for blush and for lipstick as well. I'm gonna spread that out with my fingers. It's a really like dark, not quite brick color. I really don't know how to use my words to explain colors, but I really think it's a really elegant looking blush. I tend to use it for going out at night, not so much during the day. I have though but I think it's a really just elegant color for nighttime. Apply a tiny bit more because these eyes are so intense that you can go a little bit more intense with the cheeks to 
kind of balance them out. And I know that people usually say, like, if your eyes are bold, then the rest has to be subtle. But no. No, that is not true. You do you. And I find with bolder eyes, you have to intensify the rest. Otherwise, it just looks wrong. And then for highlighter, I'm going to do a little layering. The star of the show is going to be the new lit glitter camo. As I'm filming this, it hasn't been released yet. When you're watching this, it will already have been released. So this is the new Lit Cosmetics glitter spread, and it's like a glitter paste, but it's different from typical glitter paste where it's not just glitter suspended in gel. The gel itself has shimmer to it. So I'm gonna be using this as my highlighter, but the owner of Lit Cosmetics talked to me about this product and she recommends applying it to moisturized skin or skin that has some sort of slip to it. So I'm gonna apply a cream highlighter underneath just so that there's a little bit more slip when I apply this on top. So I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. And it looks all chopped up like this because I actually did chop it up and I depotted some of it into a little palette for my kit. And I'm just going to apply that onto my cheekbone. And all the Milk Makeup products have really hydrating ingredients to them, like avocado oil and that kind of stuff. So this is going to be a perfect kind of moisturizing base for the glitter spread. And I'm also going to apply some here. I'm also going to apply this highlighter to the bridge of my nose, and to the tip of my nose, to my cupid's bow, and to my chin. Just gives a really nice kind of wet glow. Now, I haven't used these yet, so they come in three colors. Today I'm going to be using Major Gold, and this one's really unique where I don't think it has actual glitter in it. It has these gold flecks that look kind of like gold leaf. I swatched them yesterday, but I haven't actually used them in a makeup look. That's what it looks like. It comes with a little spatula. These are meant for you to use like all over your body. So that's why it has this kind of spatula. But I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and I'm just gonna take some off the cap. It's very liquidy. Let's, let's do this. Oh, I'm excited. I don't typically go for like blinding glitter highlights, but I thought it would be appropriate. So I'm going to swipe. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm going to apply it in a kind of swiping motion because that's what they recommend. And also patting it in a little bit. Oh, that looks so nice. But I want some more of those gold flecks to show through. So I'm going to layer one more layer. Ah, uh, see, there they are. I don't think it's actual gold leaf, but it does look like it. I'm kind of blending this down onto my cheek. That's really pretty. And I look very shiny. Now, other side. Today I'm gonna to be wearing a long sleeve dress that covers up pretty much up to my neck. If I wasn't wearing that, I would probably apply this over my cleavage area and my collarbone and my shoulders because I think that's where this product really shines. Ha, <laughs> get it? I totally did not mean that on purpose. I think on this side, I'm getting more of the flex. They kind of look like little freckles almost when you apply it here on the cheeks. Ooh, I like that. I want more flex on this side. Flex, where are you? There we go. Hi, flex. And I'm kind of having to blend it into my eyeshadow a little bit. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and just go over it. Oh, that blends out pretty well. Yeah, because I don't want it invading my eyeshadow. Ooh, I'm so shiny. Alright, I think I'm going to put some on my, like, brow bone area, because why not? Whoa. Ah. I look like I'm ready for a carnival or something, but it's fine. I'm going to be wearing a wig anyway that has bangs, so this is going to be, like, covered up. So it's fine if I go a little bit extra with this. I like how the flex are also discreet, but they like add texture and they're like really different from other highlighters. I like that. This product also has a really strong smell. I'm not sure what it is. It kind of smells like shampoo, but I like it. <laughs> so yeah, these go on sale on the 18th. I don't know when this video is coming out, but it's going to be way after the 18th. <laughs> Okay, now I need to do lips and finish my eyes and I need to not have glitter in my eyes so I'm gonna make sure there's no glitter on my lashes because that's how usually glitter gets into your eyes is if it's on your lashes and they just kind of creep into your eyes slowly but surely 
Now for my lips, I was swatching a bunch of different lipsticks to try to choose a color and I didn't realize that I had this color from Ritual Defeat. It is called Chrysalis and it would be a perfect match for a monochromatic look. But because I'm going out with my mother-in-law, I am not going to go with an all green look. I'm going to go with this color right here, but I think I'm going to line my lips first. This is Griselda by Fenty Beauty, but first I'm going to go in and line my lips with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color Best O. And I know that I never line my lips, but this is just a little bit darker than Griselda. You can see here, this is the liner, this is the lipstick. So I do want a little bit of that darkness. So that's why I'm lining. So I've gone with a very classic lip shape with a very defined cupid's bow and now that that's done I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle lipstick in the color Griselda and just apply that all over. Now to finish off my eyes I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Baked and just applying that to my waterline. There's a lot of makeup products called Baked. There's this liner, there's the Melt liner, there's the Milk Bronzer. A lot of potheads in the makeup industry. That just gives a nice little touch of gold. I look very, not 1920s inspired, because this is nothing to do with actual 1920s. But like, this kind of reminds me of, I think, the Dior, like, 1920s inspired runway that Pat McGrath did. Yeah. Now for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I don't know if I'm going to put on false lashes. I'm still thinking that through. I'm going to see how it looks with just the mascara, and we'll go from there. I really want to load the bottom lashes. I've decided I'm going to pop on some fake lashes. I'm going to be using the Monda Studio number 104. They're really long, but they're also really wispy, so they almost look like those feather lashes. So I think it's going to be a nice little touch to this look. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back to show you the finished look. And this is the finished look. I'm wearing a hat that my friend Cece gave me for my birthday. It's so cute. I haven't worn it yet. I thought this would be the perfect occasion. And yeah, I feel really cute. It's like really shiny, but also kind of chic at the same time. I think even though this eye is really bold, it's still very chic because it's very editorial, very runway, and I think it's wearable because I paired it with such a classic lip. So that's how you can balance looks like these out. So even though it's bold, I think it is quite wearable. And yeah, that's about it. I had a lot of fun playing with all this glitter. Glitter is always fun, and I can't stop staring at like all the different textures that I have going on. Like this added a whole other texture to the look, and I don't know, it's just, mm a feast for the eyes. So that's it for today. I really hope you like this. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to all my patrons who support me, and I will see you next time. Bye!